So Julius Malema had pointed something out that we all need to talk about that's going on in the continent of Africa. Now, we know that a lot of African nations were colonized and they have the so-called freedom, a lot of them, but they're really not free at the end of the day in a lot of ways. So Julius Malema is going to call out Kenya and also call out Zimbabwe in their courts. They're literally wearing white people's hair on top of their head, not the stuff that you hear from black American males that say black women are wearing white people's hair. That's the most dumbest thing ever that they're saying. They are not wearing white people's hair in their head. Like get out of the U.S. and actually go to the continent and see the different kind of hairstyles and the hair textures that's even on the continent. You wouldn't even say that crap. If you went to Ethiopia, you sure wouldn't be saying that. But I want you to hear what Julius Malema says about this, and then we're going to start showing you some pictures and really get into this. We want ourselves, as former colonies, uh, colonized uh, nations, to be organized through our own determination, not through what Britain thinks should be the form of organization uh, uh, when it comes to their former colonies. So we reject that. We are, not a, we are no longer a colony of Britain. And the ANC's uh, continued kneeling before the Queen and kneeling before uh, Theresa May is actually perpetuating uh, that uh, uh, colonialism of a special type. Uh, and that type of respect we give to the colonizer is the one that perpetuates white supremacy and white arrogance. That for as long as they bow before the Queen, and the queen goes there and gives them new names and gives them uh, short clothes to wear, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 and, uh, and they allow that. It's wrong. I mean, we still have judges in uh, Kenya, in, uh, in Zimbabwe, wearing wig, blonde wigs. <laughs> what is that? What is that? And including some scholars who are lawyers, they are wearing those things, they still wear those things and come and lecture us about decolonization wearing a wig. Decolonizing Africa uh, starts with simple things. Starts with doing away with apartheid sim uh, colonial symbols and a uh, uh, colonial way of, uh, of doing things. It must, we, we must, uh, and even if it's not our generation, generations to come, we must have a language that unites Africans. Like uh, uh, Swahili. If Swahili uh, can be developed and it become a continental language, and then we do away with speaking to each other in English. Because that's what colonizers did. Divided us, made sure that we don't have a common language to communicate amongst ourselves, and then we use their language. Uh, uh, to communicate so that they can hear everything we say. So we need to do, do, do away with that. If we want Africa which will be an equal competitor with the West and America. So it is through small things that will realize a total freedom of Africa, not only uh, uh, South Africa. I was, I was very worried with those judges in Zimbabwe. Even our judges here, they wear those green things. I don't know what, what do these things represent? What is that? What symbol is that? Does it mean when you're wearing this thing, you can only think when you're wearing a wig that looks like the hair of white people? You're actually wearing white braids. <laughs> the, the reason you think properly is that weak, according to colonialism. And then revolutionaries like Zano PF allows that to continue in Zimbabwe. They allow that to continue in Kenya. Well, Kenya, of course, uh, is something different. I don't think there is a total uh, independence there. America has got a huge interest in that affair, in that arrangement of Kenya. But everywhere else in the continent, we need to start doing away with those things and pulling out of Commonwealth 
is one of the things we need to do to realize a complete sovereignty for South Africa. We must not be scared to say that. We must be hated. It might not happen now, but that is the, what we're envisaging for the future of South Africa. It might not be realized in our lifetime, but those who are coming after us should know what we stood for. We were anti-colonial, anti-imperialist, and therefore anything that represented imperialism and colonialism, we reject. Now, what Julius Malema is stating, this should not be going on in 2018. We live in a time of knowledge and information. How is it that you can get up in the morning? Let's, let's put this picture up. How can you get up in the morning and head to the court and put that on your head and not feel shame and not feel ridiculous? Like, what the hell am I doing? Why am I walking around with this blonde white people wig on my head? They look like some colonial settlers, the same kind of people that raped and pillaged my people and their people too. Why would they do that? Like, and you think that's okay? I mean, I mean, look at, look at these pictures, ladies and gentlemen, look, that is ridiculous. That is still colonization. You're not free. If you're putting on white people's hair on your head to operate in the court, you're not free. You are still colonized in your minds and you're still colonized in the way you're doing things. Would you take that mess off of your head, please have some dignity and self-respect as an African and saying the hell no, we're not colonized no more. We're going to burn this crap. It looks horrible on y'all head putting that mess on. It's ridiculous. Now we have people that watch us in Kenya. Cause I check the countries that watch us and shout out to the people in Kenya that watch. We have people that watch in Zimbabwe. And I'm telling my brothers and sisters out there, I'm not disparaging you. I, don't, I have no hatred for you. I have so much love for you. And I'm telling you out of love as your brother throughout the diaspora, you have to remove everything of colonization from you. Even Malema was talking about going to possibly Swahili as a national or continental language. I have no issues with that. That's something that should be talked about and something that should be possibly implemented because you have to remove everything of colonization to get rid of white supremacy. You are still colonized by the white supremacists. If you're doing the things that they told you to do during apartheid or any other error that you lived through that you was underneath their particular rule. You see, you have these so-called African nations as free, but yet they are, de facto neo-colonized until they get rid of neo-colonization. They're not really free. So please take that ridiculous wig off your head, have some self-respect as a black man and black woman, and be proud of your hair. Be proud of your color, love your country, love your people. Because this, what we see in, no, 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 no. We, we, we gotta, we gotta, gotta support Malema on this particular one here. No. I mean, that wouldn't even fly in the United States, man. You would get roasted putting that mess on your head. I mean, for real, I couldn't even go into the court over there. I would laugh. I would get in trouble. I'm like, what the hell you got on your head? Like, I mean, it's like, it don't even match the texture of your hair. It's clearly a, a, a wig or it's not even a wig. It's like a hat they putting on. I'm like, come on, man. I mean, it looks ridiculous. Like I said, please take that off brothers and sisters, please for your dignity, self-respect and to get rid of the colonialism that you literally still have in your mind and in your courts. That can't keep happening. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular video. We have to always point out everything that's the remnants of colonization and systematic white supremacy. We have to, in order to get free, get rid of that for us to be truly a liberated people worldwide.